Hello, good evening, Luis Enrique. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Very busy, very busy. Very good, excellent. Uh, hi, Luis Enrique, how are you? Good evening, teacher, I'm fine, thank you. All right, uh, hello, Rufino, Amilcar, how are you? Hi, I feel good. Okay, very good. And Yeni Sanchez, how are you doing today? Much better, teacher. Much better. I like to hear that. Sounds good. Sounds good. Much better. Much My goodness. better. Yes, very good. Excellent. Okay. Um, um, yesterday, we were talking about uh, to words that we can use to make future plans. Um, we had two options. Uh, can you tell me? Any of you, can you tell me what is one of the two options that we have to talk about the future plans? We, we have the present continuous. Present continuous. Yes. Present continuous is one of the, the two options that we have. And uh, can you give me one example, Rufino? I'm going, I'm going to, i going to do with um, a, a work in the Hansen Missionary. The present continuous. A uh, present continuous. Uh, I am do, I am, I am doing. I don't remember. I okay, don't not a problem. Tatiana, can you help me with that? What is the question? The question is uh, one of the two options that we have to talk about uh, future plans is uh, uh, Luis Enrique says that is uh, using the present continuous. So the question was okay, can you give me an example? using the present continuous to make a future plan. So can you give me one example? I wasn't in class yesterday, but I saw the class on YouTube. Okay. And, and I think uh, an example with a future with, with going to is, I go no, into- with the present continuous. With the present continuous, okay. Yes. With the present continuous, I'm heading to the mall. I'm heading to the mall. Okay, yes, yes, I'm heading to the mall. Very good. So the other options will be, uh, the other option that we, uh, we have uh, in order for us to be able to talk about future plans. Uh, what is the other option, Jenny? Okay, I think we have a microphone off. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Uh, future with present continuous? Yes. Excuse me, it is raining, I can hear. Okay, it's raining, okay. Please repeat me the question. Yes, yeah, the question is, uh, can you give me one example using um, be going to? Hi, Stella. Hi, teacher. Good evening. She, she's Good evening. going to work. She's going to work? To work all day. She's going to work all day? Is that uh, with uh, be going to? No. Please repeat, please. Yes. Can you give me an example using, uh, um, if you're making a future plans, uh, we have two options. One is the present continuous, and the other one is uh, be going to. Can you give me one example 
we're using the be going to I am going to work tomorrow. I'm going to work tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to work tomorrow. Yes. Okay. Very good. So a, on the structure, we have the subject, we have the verb to be, plus we have going to, plus ing, plus the infinitive verb. So I am going and to play would be the or to the mall. I'm going to the mall tomorrow. Or I'm going, I'm go, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Okay. I'm going to go to the mall tomorrow. We'll be using the Bitcoin too. Because we need to have a, an infinity verb when we are using the I'm going to. Is, is that correct? Is that correct, uh, Luis Alonso? Yes, teacher. Okay. Okay, very good. And uh, also, um, I would like to talk to Jose V. Jose V um, is not uh, in yet, right? Jose V. Okay, so maybe later on we can talk to him uh, about uh, the uh, comparative and superlative uh, adjectives. I need to explain him. Uh, I need to give him another, uh, like another uh, explanation about uh, how to use the comparative and the superlative adjectives. So um, today we are going to, well, very good, excellent. Uh, uh, that's that is how we use the uh, be going to and the uh, present continues to talk about the future plans. And today we're gonna have uh, two. We're gonna have a reading where uh, the be going be going to is gonna be applied to, and uh, we're gonna uh, we are going to try to um, do the reading and uh, try to do the right pronunciation on the reading. Okay, so the conversation is uh, making plans. Are you able to see it? Uh, are you able to see it? Not yet? I see. Okay. Okay. So if you're able to see it, I'm gonna read it. And uh, uh, so you can hear the pronunciation and the word stress on the, on each uh, sentence, okay? Well, it says, okay. says uh, say Miguel, it's a saying, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's like forma como hablan los norteamericanos, say Miguel, yeah. Dime Miguel, o di Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, Contesta Miguel, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Le pregunta Miguel. We could go then. Yes, tomorrow sounds fine. Fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay. So that's the way that you're going to do the, uh, the, the fluency and the pronunci pronunciation on each word. Do you have any questions regarding to any of the words uh, presented in this dialogue? Me, teacher. Afterward? Afterward, yes. Afterward es una palabra que se usa para decir después de eso. Yes, después de eso. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Después de eso, o sea, de, después de, 
de, la, de, de lo que van a hacer ellos eh, si pueden eh, tener, si pueden cenar. ¿Ya? Ese es el afterwards. Afterwards, we can do this. Después de eso, podemos hacer esto. Afterwards. ¿Ok? Thank you. You're welcome. Any other word? No. Ok, we're going to have a Luis Alonso okay. and Ruf Rufino okay. Milcar Hernández. Ok. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go Baldwin? Ok, ok, hold on, hold on. Eh, Ay. Espérate, Rufino. Espérate. Eh, Luis Urias, eh, necesito que leas el, lo que está allí, ¿verdad? Porque dices... You want to go bowling. Y ahí le falta el do you want to go bowling. Le falta el oh, do. Okay. Me. And uh, yes, yes, say, yes, yes, yes. Say Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Yes. What are you doing tonight? No, what what you doing tonight? Yes. What are you doing tonight? Uh, do you want to go bowling? Usando el auxiliary verb. Okay. Go ahead, yes. please. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, some fine. I am going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds right. Very good. Good job. Excellent. Good job. Okay, now let's switch places, please. Say, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, where may me be? Some other time? Are you doing anything tomorrow? We will go then. Tomorrow, so fine. I am going to work on five. So let's go around six. Okay. After what? Maybe maybe we can get, get up, get some dinner. Some great. Sounds great. Sounds great. Very sounds, good. Sounds yeah. great. Trata de, trata de, de, de soltarte un poco, Luis Alonso. Trata de, Okay. No muy estructurado. It sounds great. Yeah? Como sounds sounds okay. great. Yes. Más, relájate más. Okay? Nothing happened. Okay. If you made a mistake, well, we, lo volvemos a repetir. It, it's, it's not tough. Okay. It's not tough. Okay, very good. But overall, uh, thank you very much. You did a wonderful job. Um, Gabriela Cortez. And um, let's see. I have... Um, Oh, Jenny Sanchez. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing any tomorrow? We call good them. Tomorrow sounds fine. Uh, I'm going to Jenny, work yeah. on time five. Ya te metiste al, al diálogo de ella. Oh. Porque we could go then era tuyo. Yes, are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Podríamos ir mañana. No, es de Miguel. Ok, empecemos. Tú eres Lynn, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, empecemos. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? 
Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. Can't I'm going to soccer match with my brother? Oh well, maybe some other time. Are you doing any tomorrow? We call good them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work on time five. Five. Now let's go around six. Okay. Afterwards, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Ok, lo voy a leer yo otra vez y lo voy a leer despacio, ¿ok? Porque eh, muchos errores cometimos. Ok, dice, say Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Ok. Probemos otra vez. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We tomorrow, Sorry. Tomorrow, tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work on tile, on tile five. Until. So, until. Yes. Until five. Mm -hmm. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterwards, well, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Yeah, sounds great. Sounds great. Very good. Excellent. Ahora, let's switch places. Okay. Hey, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work on all five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, <laughs> maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Excellent. Excellent reading. Very good. Thank you. Okay, Estela Lara and Luis Enriquez, please. Say, hey Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to, to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I going to soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could we could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So <clears throat> let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Let's switch places. Say, Miguel, what are you doing to, tonight? Do you want to go to the bowling? No, no, espere, espere, ¿qué dijo ahí? I'm sorry, sorry. Do sí. you want to go bowling? Mm -hmm. I love to, but I can't. 
I want, I go, I'm going to a soccer match, match with well, my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call Gotten. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Very okay. Good. Okay, at the world, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Sounds great. Very good. Sounds great. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Good job. All right. Um, can I have, uh, let's see, Patricia and Paola, please? Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Yo, yo creo que tienen apagado su micrófono, Paola. I think you have your mic off. Ah, sorry, sorry. That's okay. Uh, <laughs> I vote, I love to. But I can I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? Per, per, we call per, Paola, them. Permit, permítame. Es que oigo mucha interferencia. ¿Podrían apagar los micrófonos, por favor? Los demás solo necesito. Ok. Ok, ok. Ok, comencemos, please. Ok. Say, Miguel, what are you doing, doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until, until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds some dinner. great. Yes, yes. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Yeah, very good. Yeah, afterward. you corrected it. Muy bien, lo corrigió. Excellent. And now let's uh, switch uh, places, please. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We go to him. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after war, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, can I hear uh, Andrea Renderos and Carla Veronica, please? Hey Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go town. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Good, good. Let's switch places, please. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? Bowling. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. I love to, but I can't. I'm going to soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. 
Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go them. Tomorrow. So fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterward. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Excellent. Thanks. Good job. Good job. Thank you. Um, can I have uh, Morena Medina and Olivia Osorio, please? Tell me, um, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go out bowling? I love to, but I, got, I go to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some, some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call today. Tomorrow, some time. I'm going to walk uh, until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After what? After what? Maybe we can get some dinner. Some grain? Okay. Se los voy a leer yo una vez más y um, pongan atención a la pronunciación. ¿okay? Y si le podían bajar al, tele, al televisor sería genial. Ok, vamos a hacer. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I am going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get maybe some can dinner. Get some Sounds so great. Great. Okay. Great. Tratemos de leerlo otra vez. Sam. Sam, Miguel, what are you doing to, tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to. But I can't, I go into a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe so other, other night, other time. Are you doing, are you doing anything tomorrow? We call the then. Tomorrow, some five, I go to work until five. Tell us where are you? Okay, after war, maybe we can get some dinner. Thank you. Okay, very good. Switch places, please. Hey, mm -hmm. Ian, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I am not to, but I can I go to soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything, anything tomorrow? We call go then. Tomorrow is some time. I'm going to work until five. So let's go round six. Okay, after a while, maybe we can come to dinner. dinner. So great. Ok, very good. Thank you very much. Excelente. Estuvo mejor. Good job, good job. All right. Let me hear uh, Catherine via Mariona y Tatiana Pleites, please. Okay. Hey, Miguel. What are you doing tonight? 
Do you want to go bowling? Okay. I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some another time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We we call do them. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, afterwards. Maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, can you switch uh, places, please? Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I would love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time? Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow song fine. I won't I'm going to work on tier five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, can I have uh, Adona, Adonai Moran and Hidráulica SADCB? Good night. Good evening. Hey. Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time? Are you doing, doing anything tomorrow? We call go them. Tomorrow, some five. I'm going to work on two fights. So let's go around six. Okay, as they were. Maybe we can get some diner. Sounds great. Okay, good. Uh, let's switch places, please. Say, hey, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I, I love you too. But I can I go into a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could we we could go then. Tomorrow I'm fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. Some bits. Sounds great. Very good. Sounds great. Excellent. Sounds thank you, uh, Adonai, and thank you, Hidráulica SADCB. Now, um, Gloria Mena, please, and Alba Saavedra. Say. Say. Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go to Borley? 
Oh, I, I love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. <laughs> Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow, so fine. <laughs> I go to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. After work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Very good. Let's switch places, please. Okay. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can't. I go to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We call good thing. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around it. Okay. Afterward, maybe can get some dinner. Sound great. Very good, excellent. Okay, thank you. Thank you for your <laughs> participation. Very good, excellent. Okay, every time we, we read, we, we are gaining knowledge and also our, we are improving our ability in the reading part. So congratulations to all of you that you are improving a lot. So what we're gonna do right now is uh, we're gonna do the um, the knowledge check on this one. We're gonna try to do the exercises on the website. And uh, let's see, just a second, which is the knowledge check uh, 5.4, uh, where we are going to be answering the question using uh, the pronouns and the verbs in brackets. So complete the invitation with the present continuous use as future. So we are already experts uh, using the present continue besides the, the be going to, okay? But th in this case, it's asking us only to use the present continuous uh, to complete the invitation. So the first one, it says what, and uh, we have the uh, uh, personal pronoun you, and the verb do tonight, would you like to go out? So what would be the, the answer over here? What do you, what are you doing? Okay, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? Um, if I use what do you, this is not correct, right? Why is not correct? Are you doing? Huh? Because use uh, the verb to be. Yes, because the structure of the present continuous, it re requires me to use the verb to be. Yes, what are you in? The verb plus ing. What are you doing tonight? Yes. Would you like to go out? You. What are you? You teacher. Yes. What are you doing? Hello. Hello. What are you doing tonight? Okay. Very good. Let's do number two. Who wants to do I'm number sure. two? Are you doing anything on Friday night? Okay, are you doing anything on Friday night? Do you want to see a movie? Okay, very good. Let's do number three. We are having <coughs> over for We are having Okay, we are having friends over for a barbecue on Sunday. 
would you and your parents like to come? Very good. And let's do number four. Who wants to do number four? Are you staying? Are you staying? I hear somebody says, would you stay or will you stay? Are you? Are, are you? Are you, okay. Are you staying? Are you staying, yes. Uh -huh. In town next weekend. Are you staying in town next weekend? Do you next want weekend? to go? Yes, weekend. Do you, you want, want to go weekend? for a hike? For a hike. Yes, hike. Hike. For a hike. Yes, hike. Escalar. Escalar. Hike es escalar. Yeah. Caminata también. Sí, caminata, sí, hike, para arriba. Hike. Yeah. Ok, very good. Eso era usando el be going to. La otra opción que tenemos es, es uh, be going to, ¿verdad? Ese era el present continuous. Now we're going to be using the be going to for uh, to make a future plans as well. And the instruction says complete the responses with be going to use the verbs in brackets. So we have the verb to be over here. What would be the answer to this question? I am going to be. To be, I am going to be here on Saturday, but not Sunday. Let's try it and go on Saturday. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes, it is. Okay. Very good. Now let's see. Number two. Is going is, is going to visit. to visit. So my father is going to visit. To visit. Is, going to visit. is going to visit. To visit my brother at college. Okay, well, my father is going to visit my brother at college, college, but my mother and I are going to be home. Okay, very good, excellent, good job. Now let's see number three. Thank you. Sorry, I can't, I'm going to work overtime tonight. Okay, sorry, I can't. I I'm going. I'm going to work. to work. To work. Okay. Sorry, I can't. I'm going to work overtime tonight. How about tomorrow night? Very good. Excellent. And the last one. If we go to a lady show, I'm going to stay. Okay. I'm going to stay. stay. To stay. I'm going to stay at the office till seven. Okay, I'm assuming that it is at 7 p.m. Okay, very good. All right, all right, let's see. We got them, all of them are being answered. Let's uh, submit them and see what's happened. Okay, we got them all right. Okay, we get them all right. 
Very good. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna uh, listen to a conversation between two people talking on the phone. But before that, before that, um, I want to ask you if uh, the uh, comparative adjectives and the superlative adjectives uh, were uh, easy for you to understand them. Fueron los, los superlativos Los comparativos y so, los superlativos uh, los entendieron bien. Eh, Jenny dice que sí, ella lo entendió bien. Very good. La razón por la cual le estoy preguntando es porque en, la, en el chat eh, vi unas preguntas eh, acerca del superlative adjective y el comparative adjective. Pero... Eh, El compañero usted estaba diciendo que no había entendido eso. Entonces quiero saber yo si si alguno de ustedes uh, tiene dudas del comparative adjective y superlative adjective, porque es bien importante que lo dejemos bien claro eso para que en el próximo en el otro módulo no, eso no vaya a ser una una traba para ustedes, porque ya se van a ver de otro punto de vista y si no lo entiende ahorita entonces después se le va a poner más más Difícil la cosa. Entonces, ¿hay alguien de ustedes que no haya entendido el comparative adjective y el superlative adjective? Explíquen otra vez, Tiche. ¿Perdón? Si lo puede explicar otra vez. Fíjese de que a mí me sale mal este, ¿cómo se llama en mi plataforma? De lo que usted está resolviendo en el anterior. Ok. ¿El que acabamos de resolver? Sí, sí. Okay. El we are okay. Baje. Este. El sería el tres. El tres. Okay. Ahí yo lo escribo igual y no y me sale mal. We are having. We are. Ay. Uh -huh. Pero me sale mal, ya va a ver. Sin el we, ¿verdad? Sí. Solo el are sí. having. Sí. Ah, hoy me salió bien. Uh -huh. Gracias, Tich. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces uh, los comparative tenemos superlative y comparative ok, estuvimos diciendo que los comparative servían para uh, comparar dos cosas dos cosas Y el superlativo era para comparar una cosa con lo demás, o sea, eh, con, con muchos. Eso era el, el superlativo. Y en los uh, uh, comparatives usábamos la uh, ER. Yeah, por ejemplo, uh, por ejemplo, si tenemos una, una palabra de una sílaba, yeah, que decía big, en esta dijimos que Eh, ¿Qué hacíamos en el caso de esta? Si lo queremos hacer uh, uh, comparative. ¿Qué hacemos en este caso? Eh, por ejemplo, apples. Apples are bigger than uh, pears. Yeah. ¿Sería eso correcto hacerlo así? No. No. No, ¿verdad? Falta una G. No. Falta una G, porque ¿qué dice la regla? Porque se le haré más, es más grande. Y se le pone... ¿Qué dice la regla? Que... Se le haré 
Entonces, que no, el B, consonante. una consonante, Pero vocal doble. consonante, se duplica la última consonante y se le agrega R. Cor correcto, sí. Uh, consonante, vocal, consonante, ¿verdad? Este patrón. Cuando tenemos ese patrón, entonces, eh, para hacerlo comparative adjective, entonces le doblamos la consonante y le agregamos el ER. Yes, ahí estamos bien. Y lo mismo se usa para superlative, ¿verdad? El superlative, entonces diríamos, uh, uh, diríamos apples are the biggest B doble G guest fruit yeah? in the world. No es verdad, pero nomás para decirlo. In the world. Yes. Entonces, como Apple la estoy comparando a todas las frutas que existen, entonces yo tengo que decir, Apples are the biggest fruit in the world. Yes. The biggest fruit in the world. Entonces, superlativos compara uno con todo lo demás. ¿Ok? Eh, cars. Ahora vamos a ver de dos, más de dos sílabas. Cars are expensive than motorcycle. Psycho. Motorcycle. Ok. ¿Será correcto eso decirlo así? No. No. Falta no. Más. More expensive. More expensive. No, ok. Expensive. No, right? Aunque yo le escriba la, la, la IR ahí, no, 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 güey, José. No, no. Dice este, no, no, teacher. Uh, come on, come on, teacher, come on. You know better than that. Yeah? Dice, no, 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 teacher. No es así. ¿Y por qué? Porque como es más de dos sílabas, ¿y qué dice la regla? Que los que llevan más sílabas se le agregan al da, more, o oh, no, o solo el more. Ok, more. La, las, las super ad, uh, adjectives, los adjetivos que tienen más de dos sílabas, le agregamos la palabra more. Uh -huh. Y no se modifica. Sí, y este se queda así, ¿verdad? More expensive. Yes. Yes. Expensive. Sí, expensive. more expensive than motorcycle, ¿sí? Y ahí, ahí estamos bien. Yes. Yeah. Entonces, ahora hagamos un superlativo usando carros. ¿Cómo podríamos hacer el superlativo? Car. 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 The most expensive. The most. The most. The most. The Car is. Ok, sí, estoy escuchando. Cadillac o... There we go. BMW. Ok, ahí sí estamos bien. Ahora sí, estamos, estamos bien, sí. Pero solo ponemos cars, no podemos hacer eso, ¿ya? Yeah? Tenemos que yeah, decir car. un car. modelo, un modelo que sea más caro que ah. todos. El, el, ah. el Porsche. Entonces, ya. Yeah. Uh, Porsche. Yeah. Porsche. Porsche. Cars, is, uh, cars, cars, cars. Sí. Is more expensive. Or Porsche car is, the, is, is more expensive. Is more expensive. Expensive. In the world. In the world. In the world. Es Estamos bien así. No. No, no verdad. No, teacher. Must. Teacher, come on, teacher. Se está durmiendo, teacher. ¿O qué must. pasa? Must. <risa> Así. Must. Me dice, come on, teacher. ¿Qué le pasa? ¿Se está durmiendo o okay, qué? Okay, okay. Si está durmiendo, damos permiso que se vaya, pero no me escribe de esa manera. <risa> ok, yes. No, no, no. No se escribe así. ¿Por qué? ¿Qué es? ¿Cuáles son las... las las reglas que hemos aprendido cuando escribimos la, superlativo. La, ok. Vamos. El more no lo usamos, ¿verdad? More no, no lo usamos. No. El more no. queda afuera. No. Entonces, ya. Yeah. Este es lo primero que arreglaríamos, no, teacher. Es most. most. Yes, most. very good. Most. Okay. ¿Qué más? Car, most. 
El da. Da, le ponemos da, la palabra da, 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 porque da, es, da, no, es exclusivo, no hay otro más que él. Y el, el artículo da, we use the article da to, to um, indicate that something that is unique. It's like when you say unique, the unique. king. Yes. Cuando usted dice the king, no hay otro king, yeah? The king. O cuando le dicen a usted, hey, you are the man, yes? Usted es el hombre, no hay otro más. You are the man, yes? En el trabajo, cuando su boss le dice, oh my goodness, Luis Alonso, you're the man, yes? O cuando usted va a llevar la carne o, o la leche al, a, a sus proveedores, a los que usted le vende, y dice, oh Luis, thank you, you're the man, yes? Me trajo lo que te necesitaba, you're the man. Eh, quiere decir que no hay otro más que él, yes? Entonces, en este caso, como estamos hablando de superlativo, no hay otro más que, entonces le ponemos da. Entonces, Porsche car, Porsche car is the most expensive, the most expensive. car, car in, the world. Yes. in the world. Yes. Ahí sí, yes. Porque es más caro todos en el mundo, ¿verdad? The most expensive. Aunque no puede ser. Yo creo que sería un Ferrari, ¿verdad? A Ferrari, Ferrari, maybe. Sí, tengo como unos tres ahí atrás parqueados que no los ocupo. De juguete. Mire, Luis, mire, Luis, cómo se pone a reír. De ya, colección. Pues ya de colección. Ya. Give me. Dice, Luis, Give me dice, one. Pobrecito, el pichi ya tiene hambre. <risa> yeah. So, yes, entonces, Porsche car is the most expensive car in the world. Entonces, ahí estamos hablando de the most expensive, es un superlativo, ¿verdad? Eso es, eso es lo que, lo que eh, hacemos. ¿Qué acerca de cuando tenemos uh, algo que termina así, easy? ¿Qué hacemos? Ok. Eh, eh, English. English is uh, easy, easier than, than um, French. Yeah. ¿Está correcto eso? No. No, ¿verdad? To change the word. No. No. ¿Qué, ¿Qué hacemos entonces? ¿Qué es lo que dice la regla que aprendimos? Seguimos la griega por la I. Yes. Eliminamos la Y y la sí. reemplazamos por la I, ¿verdad? Y ahí sí, estamos bien. Yeah. English is easier than French. Ahí sí estamos bien. ¿Ya? Yeah. Ok. Ahora hagamos lo superlativo. En el caso de, de diciendo que inglés es el mm -hmm. lenguaje más fácil del mundo. I don't agree. <laughs> mm. The Portugues. <laughs> Entonces, ¿cómo hacemos? ¿Qué decimos? English is is English is the, the, the most easy. The most easy. The most the most easy. Easy. Easy than French. Easy. Easy. ¿Qué más? The French language. No. The, okay. Easy language. Yeah. Uh, Dan French. ¿Así estamos bien? Acuérdense no, que estamos haciendo no, Dan French. No, Dan French. No, 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 French. no. ok, thank you. English. English is the is the easiest okay. language. So, so le borro el most. Yes. Yes, ok. ¿Y ahora? I I a E S T E S T okay okay English is the easiest language ahora than French no no than French no no porque oh, ese es superlativo, superlativo. Uh -huh. 
In the world. In the world. In the same in the world. world. In the world. Yes. Yeah. English is the easiest language yes. in the world. Ahí sí. Ahí sí estamos bien. Ok. Entonces, esa es la forma como nosotros usamos el, el superlative y el comparative. Ya. Yeah. Uh, aplicando las reglas que, 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 que aprendimos la otra vez. Ok. Entonces, uh, necesitamos, si nos no quedó bien claro eso, necesitamos ver el video. Y después de hacer el video, entonces tratamos de hacer los, ex, los, los ejemplos en, el, en, el, uh, en, la, en la plataforma. Puede ser que uno o dos no nos salgan bien. Ahí estamos bien. Pero si todos, usted no los puede hacer, entonces no estamos bien. Necesitamos reenforzar eso. Ya. Yeah. Se puede cometer un error, o sea, de, de cinco ejercicios, usted falla uno, estamos bien, estamos perfectos. Podemos, podemos hacer errores, no hay nada mal. Pero si todos no los ha hecho, entonces sí hay que buscar ayuda. Piche, eh, puede usted, por favor, eh, re, eh, dar un, re, un repaso a este tema. Bien. Con mucho gusto, lo hacemos, ¿ok? Pero no se quede así, no se quede solo... Eh, eh, contestando la plataforma, porque eso no, no le va a ayudar a, a hablar inglés. Entonces, uh, cuando tenga una duda, por favor, hágala, diga, hey, podemos hacer un, un repaso en este tema, podemos hacer un repaso, no me quedó bien claro, ¿ok? Y aquí estoy para, para lo que ustedes digan, yo trabajo para ustedes y ustedes son los que mandan, ¿ok? Así es que no se sienta que, ah, el dicho, mí... así que ya dio eso, no, no, tranquilo. Uh -huh. For me, I don't clearly the topic that use neither either. I don't clearly for me, uh, but uh, maybe tomorrow a preview. Of... Okay, neither and either. Okay, very good. Yes, very good. Podemos podemos darle un 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 repaso a eso. Así como hicimos el repaso de hoy de los uh, superlatives y uh, y comparatives. Yeah? Comparatives. Voy a build en lo que usted ya sabe, o sea, construir en lo que en su conocimiento, ¿ok? Very good, excellent. Well, you guys did uh, a wonderful job. I'm gonna let you go because I know you you're hungry, some of you, and I, I see you tomorrow, ¿ok? Bye, teacher. Bye.